What up, what up, what up, you guys? It's Blackwing2040. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a top 10. I really haven't done a top 10 since, you know, the top 10 Power Rangers team up. But this top 10 is going to be a little bit different. And I feel like, you know, I want to spread out, you know, my topics of top 10s, if you know what I mean. So today's top 10 is going to be top 10 Spider Man suits. Now, all of you who who know me, Spider-Man is my number one, I kid you not, Spider-Man is my number one favorite superhero of all time, bar none, and I mean that in every single way, and, you know, Spider-Man has just like a ton of suits, you know, lying around in his closet, puts on in battle, it's just so many options to of him to wear into action, and plus, you know, my years of playing Spider-Man video games, you know, all the options of just getting to pick so many different alternate suits. I was just blown away. And I don't own the PS4 Spider-Man game, but I got to, you know, I got to play it once. Glad I got I got the chance to. And just the wide range of just Spider-Man suits that are in that game. It's just... Wow. Some of the most... Some of the best suits ever. For the web slinger. So, without for, for uh, without further ado, let's give our top ten Spider-Man suits. Starting off at number ten, the bombastic Bagman. This suit was the suit that Peter decided to wear after he, you know, got rid of the black suit when he discovered that the black suit is actually a symbiote. And Peter needed something to wear to swing back home. And Johnny of the human Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, gave him a spare Fantastic Four suit. And Peter had to put a bag on his head, and he had to sign on his back that said "Kick me." And it's a it's a silly looking suit, and. I was reading the issue of seeing Peter actually wearing that suit in action. It's ridiculous, it's funny, and I love it. It's just hilarious. And I know for some reason he hates Johnny for making him wear that suit. So that's number 10. Number 9, the Spider Armor, Mark 1. Now the first time I ever like saw this suit was in the 2000 Spider-Man video game. Not the movie video game, there was a Spider-Man game that came out in the 2000s, which is called Spider-Man 2000. And I always loved how, you know, at the time, that was my favorite, you know, Spider-Man suit of all time, at that time. Because, you know, it looked cool, you know, it's like, you know, it's a spider armor, you know, silver plating and, you know, black lint black lines for the, you know, for the muscles, but overall, it looks cool. I mean, sure, there's been other variations of the spider armor after this, but... Just to, you know, give some notice to the original spider armor. And it's cool. Of course, I was doing my research. I know Peter didn't wear it that long in the comics anyway. So, if, you know, if I'm wrong, you know, you guys could fill me in in the comment section below. Alright. On to number 8. The Scarlet Spider. Ben Riley. I love this suit. I remember the first time I saw this suit. I was like, whoa. That is a cool, look cool looking suit. You know, just the hoodie, the different, you know, the black outlines on the eyes are gone. It's just straight up white on the eyes. And, you know, an anklet and the belt and everything. It, it's a dope looking suit. And literally, anytime, I, anytime when I'm playing a Spider-Man game, and if that suit's not in there, I mean, I may get a little disappointed, but it's still a cool looking suit. And I, I know Ben Riley at the time who was Spider-Man during the Clone Saga, which is, of course, a very, very polarized Spider-Man story. I know he kind of got rid of that suit to wear a different variation of the Spider-Man suit, but I still say Ben Riley should have stuck with this hoodie suit forever, and it's just awesome. It's, it's a cool-looking suit. All right, number seven, the big-time suit, otherwise known as the stealth suit. Now, this suit is very, very interesting, and it comes with very different technical aspects to it. You know, you have a stealth option, uh, a metal spiders option, and you have a sonar option for the suit. It's just, it's really, it's a really cool looking suit. And, you know, this suit was made during Dan Slott's run on Spider-Man, and I find it at first, I didn't really like the suit, but once I was reading the story arc big time, 
and seeing the many aspects this suit has, I was like, it's a damn good looking suit and has a really cool, you know, cool. It's a cool toy, if you be honest. It's really, it's a really cool, you know, toy to take into battle. All right, so let's move on to number six. Number six, the Superior Spider-Man suit. I know the Superior Spider-Man is very divided, and a lot of people half people kind of like the idea of you know Doc Ock trying to prove he's the better Spider-Man, and the other half. You know, people saying, like, Doc Ock is a terrible Spider-Man. What were they thinking? What was Dan Slott thinking? Me, I would say I'm in the middle. And from what I've read of Superior Spider-Man, it's not a bad-looking suit. And I may be referring to the updated version of the suit with the spider legs and everything. Of course, it gives Spider-Man, you know, lenses to, you know, detect many things. And... I would say on Doc Ock's part for creating such a very, you know, unique kind of suit, it's 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 really cool. I mean, the spider legs were, we've seen that before with the Iron Spider suit already, so that's not really an original design. I bet you Tony Stark was like, Doc Ock stole my design with that suit. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's cool, and of course it has talons on the on the suit on the cl on the hands and on the feet which is really really a nice detail if i might add but other than that it's a it's it's a cool looking suit all right speaking of spider legs on the back and i did mention the iron spider before number five is the iron spider suit i thought the suit was really really cool i'm a i'm a big fan of you know gold on you know on certain things and the red and the I don't know if it's gold or yellow, but the red and the gold really flow well with each other on the suit. And, of course, the suit gives Peter's, you know, flight, you know, metal spider legs and everything, repulsor. It's just, it's basically an Iron Man suit for Spider-Man. And I still, if you like an Iron Man suit, just think an Iron Man suit combined with Spider-Man, that's even better. And I always enjoy, I just, I mean, just look at this thing. It's just wow it's just it's just wow i love 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 that suit to death De definitely top five for sure all right next on the list number four the scarlet spider kane kane for those who don't know is the false you know messed up clone of peter parker but his suit oh my gosh I love the flip-flop of the red and black, how the black is at the top with red eyes and the rest of the suit is just red up at the bottom. It is just so cool to look at. And I remember the first time I saw this suit when I was playing um, the Amazing Spider-Man video game, the first one, I was like, oh, this suit is badass. And I like it. I like it. I just... I'm telling you, some things, when it comes to these suits, these suits really know how to grab my eye. And this one particular really, really grabs my eye. I was just like, wow. I know it's not Peter Parker wearing the suit, but man, it is dope. And the re a little backstory on this suit. This suit is basically an updated version to Peter's, you know, big time suit. Um, Kane, you know, gave it to Madam Web. Madam Web did a little, you know, re- uh, modifications to the suit and it looks great and another cool thing about this suit is it kind of healed itself over time so that's a feature that i i didn't know about that but that's a that's a cool feature all right number three i can't it can't be a top 10 spider-man suit list without this one number three is the black suit i mean come on every, this suit is definitely on somebody's favorites are you okay because look it's the it's the symbiote suit first debuted in Secret Wars, and of course it goes on to become Spider -Man, one of Spider Man's big arch enemies, Venom. But I I love this suit. I mean, it's all black, yes, but I love the different you know spider insignia on the chest, and of course it does change its the personality of its wearer over time because it is a living organism. And would I ever actually wear the Venom symbiote? No. 
I wouldn't. As cool as it looks, I wouldn't want to wear it because I don't want no creature taking over my body. But fret not because Peter actually did create a cloth version of the suit. So it doesn't really matter, you know, what it is, whether it be the Venom symbiote or the cloth version. It's still a dope looking suit anyway. It's really cool. Alright, number two, the Future Foundation suit. This suit is fly and so clean, just so sparkly, squeaky clean. Now, this suit was given to Spider-Man after the apparent death of the Human Torch, and Peter took, its pl took his place in um, the Fantastic Four, who decided to change their names to the Future Foundation. And by God, this suit is so... Oh, I have no words. I have no words about this suit. It's just the black eyes, the white everywhere. You know, it has a little black designs on the on the muscles. But it is just so clean. I know it also has a feature where it kind of flip-flops from, you know, white... To, to black but I like looking at the white better it's just it's just so badass it just looks so dope I love it I love it so now before I give my number one pick of course I gotta give some honorable mentions so the first honorable mention goes to the PS4 suit and I, I really like it's different it was made exclusively for the spider-man PS4 video game and you know I like the white um, Spider-Man insignia, and of course, it has the little white patches on the on the hands. It's it's different, of course. Spider-Man gives you know the express. It gets. I love it when the eyes are very expressive. It, I think it's cool to have like you know an expressive you know Spider-Man face. It's it's cool. And the next honorable mention is the <clears throat> is the Velocity suit. Now, this suit, of course, another suit was made exclusively for the PS4 video game, and I like I like the features that come with this suit because it's fast. It's like giving Spider-Man a suit which gives him super speed, and I like I kind of like the aspect of that suit. It's it's cool, it's fast, it's sleek, it's quick. It's just overall, it's darn really cool, if I might say. Alright, next is the Spider Armor Mark II, and this suit was also known as the Bulletproof Suit. I don't mind it, you know, the only thing that does kind of bother me a little bit is the, just the collar of the suits, but other than that, it's, you know, it's the second version of the Spider Armor, it's Bulletproof, and it's not bad, it's not that bad, I mean, not my favorite, but it's, it's still not that bad. Next and last is the negative suit. Now, the first time I saw this suit was in Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I didn't know where it came from, and while I did some research on it, I saw that this is a suit that Spider-Man wore that when he went into the negative zone. And I like the aspect of, you know, the, the black and the gray mesh of the suit and filled with, you know, negative particles. And... Of course, I thought the suit was maybe you know made to reference one of his enemies, Mr. Negative, but it kind of isn't. But still, it's it's still a good look of a suit. That's what, and it's not that bad either. All right, now for my number one pick, my all-time favorite Spider-Man suit is the Spider Armor Mark Three. Oh my gosh, I love this suit. I I love everything about this suit this suit was made by peter himself and this suit is also known as the you know anti sinister six suit comes with many different you know technical aspects to take down each member of the sinister six and i just love the way how it looks i remember i was reading the story arc of when it de debuted and how the avengers are just straight up in awe in spider-man's suit he was like i think spider-woman was like yo spider-man that suit, it's like, yeah, are we going to stand here? Oh, he's like, are we going to stand here all day or are we going to get down to business? And then he puts his hands on the table. He's like, Avengers, assemble. I was like, oh, shoot. Spider-Man is taking no names here. But this suit, I'll admit, it kind of makes him look like a Power Ranger. But it's still cool in every way. It has just, you know, lasers on the, on the wrist. 
it's just, it's just so freaking awesome. I just love this suit. And anytime I play a Spider-Man game, and if this suit is in the game, this suit is one of the suits I always make sure to see if it's in there. I love it. I love the design. I love everything about it. It's just awesome. So, anyway, those are my top 10 favorite Spider-Man suits. In the comment section below, tell me what are your favorite Spider-Man suits. And it could even be from Spider-Man from across, you know, the Spider-Verse. Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that bell to be notified. Until then, I am Vengeance. I am Darkness. I am Blackwing. Stay golden.